The Mental Capacity Act itself has a very clear definition of what it means to lack capacity, and it is worth repeating it verbatim. A person lacks capacity in relation to a matter if at the material time he is unable to make a decision for himself in relation to the matter because of an impairment of or a disturbance in the functioning of the mind or the brain. It is sometimes described as a two-stage test or process. The first stage being the functional element. So is the person able to make the specific decision when they need to? Can they understand the information, retain it? Can they use and weigh it up and communicate it by any means? If they cannot, then you move on to the diagnostic element of the test. So do they have an impairment of or disturbance in the functioning in the mind or brain? If so, then you ask yourself, is that inability caused by that impairment of the mind or brain? Some key points to take away here, that you should support the person to make the decision themselves if they can. The capacity is time and decision specific. An assessment may take one or more sessions to actually properly assess, and it should always be kept under review if necessary. Finally, it should be documented robustly.